Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to start off by priming my eyes. I'm using the Wet n Wild Concealer in the shade Medium Deep, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. For today's eyeshadow, I'm using the Patrick Star Collection, and for the quad, I have the Miso Fleek, and the name of his eyeshadow is Play With Me. I'm picking up the shade All Rosy, and this is going to act as my transition shade. Since my concealer is still wet, I first pack on the eyeshadow, and then I I move forward and blend it out. As you guys can see, I'm going to gradually build up this shade until my liking. Now that I have my transition shade laid down, I'm going to move forward and apply the shade uh, Hickey directly into my crease. This is a more of a vibrant pink shade and I'm just going to be focusing it in my crease. I'm just going to go ahead and blend the two shades together, that way they are nice and seamless. Honestly you guys, this look kind of turned more purpley than what I expected, but since it is blue and pink, that's kind of what happens. Now I'm going in with the shade, I believe it's called In the Shadows, yeah it's called In the Shadows and I'm packing it onto my lid. Honestly this is such a vibrant blue, it's so pretty. I would just wear this eyeshadow with different colors in my crease because when I went ahead and moved forward to blend everything together, the blue kind of turned to more of a purpley tint which is what I pretty much expected. I could have went back on and packed on the shadow but I chose not to because it did look pretty but here I am just blending everything together no extra product on my brush I'm just going back in and blending out the edge of the first shade that I applied shockingly I don't have a MAC highlighter I really want soft and gentle but anyways to highlight the brow bone today I'm using my Omrezy highlighter Grabbing my Urban Decay Liquid Liner, I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much line the upper lash line. This is just going to act as my base for when I apply my lashes. The lashes I'm using today are in the style Charmilla. This is actually my lashes, Ashes Lashes, which will be out very soon. But the reason why I've been putting a black eyeliner is because the glue I've been using is the House of Lash Glue in the black shade. For primer today, I'm taking my MAC Strobe Cream in the pink light shade, I believe. I actually really like the MAC Strobe Cream. I really want to get it in the gold shade. I actually got the MAC Strobe Cream Pink Light because I got the MAC Patrick Star thing. So it like came with it whenever uh, my grandparents ordered for it online. If you guys watched my last video, I actually have a dupe for this which is the Wet n Wild Photo Primer in Dewy or Luminous or something like that. I'll have a little card so you guys can check that video out. Anyways, for foundation today, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC44. And I'm just going to be packing it onto my skin using a buffing brush. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep and only applying a little bit of this concealer since it is my skin tone. To highlight and brighten up my under eyes, I'm going in with my NYX HD Concealer in the shade 6.7 Caramel. I've been really liking the consistency of both of these concealers, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. I need to branch out when it comes to concealers, I know. Now I'm moving forward and using my Beauty Blender to just blend everything out. Um, I haven't been using a brush either because I just just like the way this beauty blender absorbs any extra con extra concealer and it doesn't make my under eyes look cakey Now that my concealer is nice and blended out, I'm going to move forward and set my face. I'm setting my face using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 30 Medium Deep. I have a full in-depth video that I will have linked with a card so you guys can check it out because this has become my new favorite setting powder. My camera is literally about to die and it's about to storm. That's why the lighting was off, so I do apologize. I wish I could have done a talk through video for today's video but unfortunately I couldn't because everybody's home right now they're outside and obviously it's kind of too late to start doing a talk through but yeah 
For my lower lash line, I'm picking up the shade Hickey again and smoking it out. I really like how the pink sort of tied the look together and made it seem like the blue was in the center focus of the eyes and then the pink on the outskirts popped. I hate that I look cool tone when I actually look warm tone. To bronze up my skin today, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Darkest Deep. Honestly, I love this product from MAC. I can't put it down. But another dupe that I recently found in my previous video was the NYX Bronzer. It works exactly the same and I love it. But since this is a MAC video, I moved forward and used that one. For blush today, I'm taking the Patrick Star blush in the shade, let me see, Take Me Home. And I'm mixing the blush duo together to be honest this has been my favorite blush ever since I got it it was one of the first products that I actually used since I don't have a MAC highlighter I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, time um, Reezy highlighter and just highlight my face I really need to pick up soft and gentle by MAC because I've been looking at that highlighter for years I just need to purchase it already I couldn't find my brush that I typically use to highlight the bridge of my nose and tip of my nose and inner corner, so I just moved forward and used my finger. For my choice of lipstick, I used the Patrick Star Lipstick in Hey Boy Hey. I really wish this kit came with a lip liner because I felt like I needed one. But anyways, now for the lip gloss, which is my favorite. It's so pretty. I'm using the lip gloss in the shade... I can't find it. What the heck? Um, I'll just have it linked below because I can't, can't see the name on the tube. It, the pink is too bright. I'm like staring at it, but I can't see. I think it says queen, but I don't know. Well, this is the end of today's video. I had a lot of fun trying out the Patrick Star collection. He honestly did such an amazing job, and I can't wait for his next release. Well, be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button, and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.